While visiting Hamburg in May, we packed up our bikes, brought them on the train, and headed north to the island of Rügen for a bit of bicycle touring. Although Google Maps had suggested we follow the main road to our campsite, we ended up cycling along these incredible bike paths that wound their way through the beech forests of the Yasmund National Park. After dropping off our camping gear at the campsite, we cycled back out to the coast where we ate our picnic dinner as we watched the sun set over the Baltic Sea. So we got up at five this morning to try and come out to this viewpoint and see the sunrise or at least see the nice kind of warm morning light. Um, it was very cloudy so we ended up sort of being a bit lazy and not leaving the campsite till around six. Um, so it's now 6.30, we got to the viewpoint and if you can see behind me, it's closed. So it's not just a viewpoint, it's a whole visitor center that you have to pay to get into. Um, so we're not going to be doing that for now because so it doesn't open till nine but luckily there is some um, uh, bike parking here like lockers bike lockers so we managed to fit both of our bikes into one locker and we're gonna go for a little hike now and see what we can see By the time we reached one of the beaches further along the coast, the clouds were rolling in and the cliffs were being engulfed in a thick fog. It made our hike back to the visitor center a completely different experience to the hike that we had taken just minutes before. After lunch, we continued cycling south until we reached the nature center, where we followed the treetop walk to the observation tower, a 40 meter high spiral that winds its way up around a single beech tree. Our last day of this bike tour was back on mainland Germany, 
where we saw three different castles and cycled over 50 kilometers. Although some parts of the bike path paralleled the main road, other parts wound through the forest on the edge of the lake, offering some relief from the afternoon heat.